Hello everyone, today we will be learning how to set up initial event data setting and we will be using volume assist control in understanding these. Well, Before we begin, uh, we have to understand the parameters to describe somebody's breathing because that's what we will be using to control our dials on the ventilator. Also try to understand what are normals and the best way to understand this will be examining your own breathing pattern. The most important thing is to observe your patient breathing before the intubation. So what are the five period parameters to understand volume assist control? How much air do you breathe in? How many breaths do you take in a minute? How fast is your inspiration? How much percent of oxygen you are breathing? And lastly, how much pressure do you need to keep your lungs inflated? So if you understand these five parameters, you should be able to control somebody's breathing on the ventilator using the volume assist control starting with the tidal volumes so normal tidal volumes are typically 8, 8 to 10 cc's per kg ideal body weight ideal body weight depends on height and you can use this chart to figure out what your ideal body weight is so if you're a six feet person your ideal body weight is 80 kilos and your tidal volume is around 640 cc's how do you choose initial tidal volume? We always start with 6 cc per kg idle body weight. If you are placing somebody on the vent for airway protection, for example drug overdose, uh, you may use 8 cc per kg idle body weight as well. During elective surgeries, anesthetists like to use 8 to 10 cc per kg idle body weight. Using this chart, you can figure out how much tidal volume to give to any patients and this table will show you the cc's per kg and the height of the patient. Normal respiratory rates are around 10 to 12 times a minute and it is very important to observe your patient's breathing before intubation because the best way to choose the initial respiratory rate is to mirror the respiratory rates prior to intubation unless the patient is intubated for apnea or hypopnea understand that these are initial settings and you will have to change the rates later for the patient requirement inspiratory flow rate this is how fast you take the tidal volume so the inspiratory flow rate equals tidal volume by inspiratory time this represents your breathing cycle constituting your inspiratory time and your expiratory time for example if you're breathing rate is 20 times a minute your one breath cycle is around three seconds long so your one breath cycle is around three seconds if your tidal volume is 500 cc's and your inspiratory time is one second the average flow rate would be around 500 cc's per second or about 30 liters per minute expiration on the ventilator is passive so you cannot set it how do you choose initial flow rates Again, it depends upon how patient was breathing prior to intubation. If the patient is breathing nice and comfortably, you start at the normal flow rates, which is around 30 to 40 liters per minute. And if the patient was intestinic or struggling to breathe or he's acidotic, it's better to start at a higher flow rates. One thing you would have observed that the respiratory rates and inspiratory flow rates uh, go together. If your respiratory rate rises, so does your inspiratory flow rates. How do you choose initial FiO2? You always start with 100% and the reason for this is there may be some unrecognized issues during and after intubation, so it's better to err on the side of giving them more. Once the things have settled down, you can titrate the FiO2 to sets of 90 to 94%. Positive and expiratory pressure. So the question to ask yourself is what keeps your alveoli open? And uh, you will realize that the intrapleural pressure is negative. So in fact, right now when you are listening to this video, you have a negative peep inside your lungs, which is keeping those alveoli inflated. It's generated from the elastic chest wall. Once on the ventilator, you lose all the negative pressure so you require a positive pressure to keep your lungs inflated how do you choose initial peep peep depends upon how much oxygen the patient was before intubation if the patient is requiring 
less than 50 percent you can start at peep of five and if he's requiring more than 50 you can start with peep of eight understand that this is initial peep setting and will need to be optimized so overall you just need five parameters to control your breathing your tidal volume which you typically start at 60 cc's per kg your respiratory rate ranges from 10 to 30 depending on how the patient was breathing prior to the ventilator same thing with the flow rate between 30 to 100 your fio2 you always start at 100 percent and peep you start at five and you can go up to eight or ten let's understand this with some examples now we have a patient with drug overdose with a respiratory rate of six this patient you can start six to eight cc's tidal volume normal respiratory rate normal flow rate peep of five and fio2 of 100 percent there's a patient with pneumonia who is breathing in 30s he's diaphoretic and requiring non-rebreather mask and you plan to intubate this gentleman you would start him at a lower tidal volume of 6 cc per kg body weight you will match the respiratory rate to what he was breathing prior to intubation high flow rates a peep of 8 and a fio2 of 100 now we have a patient with septic shock who is breathing in 40s likely because he's pretty acidotic he's diaphoretic and he's on quite a bit of oxygen this patient you would use 6 cc per kg tidal volume higher respiratory rate trying to match the breathing pattern prior to ventilation fast flow rate peep of 8 fio2 of 100 percent what about a patient with pulmonary edema and heart failure the tidal volume we would suggest would start at 6 cc per kg fast respiratory rate and thus the fast flow rate peep of 8 and FiO2 of 100%. Now, patient with acute COPD exacerbation. This patient is breathing pretty fast and is on BiPAP on 50% oxygen and he has got CO2 retention with PCO2 of 90. You would use 6 cc per kg for this but the respiratory rates should be lower and typically we keep it lower because COPD patients have problem with air trapping and faster respiratory rates can decrease the expiratory time and flow rates of 80 peep of 5 and fio to 100 percent once you have initial vent settings entered order a blood gas in 30 minutes and examine the lung mechanics while the patient is still paralyzed from the rapid sequence intubation make sure that the o2 sets are more than 90 percent and if you have end tidal measuring capacities please order them Thank you.